how can we turn on Apple Intelligence, the AI assistant in macOS 15. The first thing to do is to actually update because this option is available only for macOS 15.1 or higher. So if you just change to macOS Sequoia, it's still not there. So that's pretty funny. We need to do one more update to macOS 15.1. So let's double check which system are we on. Do we need to update? I click this Apple logo at the top left and about this Mac. From here I can see my Mac OS is 15.1, so I'm good to go. Now I simply head down to the system settings. From here you will notice that the Siri icon disappears. Now it's replaced by Apple Intelligence. And again, let me repeat myself. If you cannot see here Apple Intelligence on the list, means you are on the wrong system, you need to update or your region do not allow AI. So that's also a possibility for a few countries right now. Okay, I click Apple Intelligence and simply change this toggle here from off to on. And it will actively replace Siri. So from now on, instead of Siri at the top, you will see this Apple Intelligent icon when you can click on it, you can type in some stuff like you're asking ChatGPT to do something or you can use microphone like you did before. Keep in mind when you activate this for the very first time, they may tell you to wait. So they will tell you you are now on the waiting list. But don't be afraid. It's in my case, it took like around 10 minutes and I was good to go. Some people need to wait like overnight, but it's not like months of waiting. All right. And of course, be sure your system is set up all in English because that's what Apple Intelligence can do right now. It can serve you in English. All right, so here it is. Go to your system settings. It will be on the list. It's a new colorful icon that replaced Siri. Keep in mind, it's still in beta, so it's cannot really link to some AI models out there. They're still going to improve that in upcoming update. But you can turn it on straight away. You can go over the waiting list so you are ready for upcoming features. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.